Welcome to Africa News Roundup. My name is Lucy. Starting off this segment, the United States has said it is restricting entry to people believed to be responsible for undermining democracy in Nigeria ahead of the country's elections this year. In plain terms, some individuals who will not be mentioned will not be granted visas to the United States, which is subject to Immigration Nationality Act. Also, family members of said individuals will be restricted. But my question is, who are the said people or individuals? Is there some sort of list of these people and why is it not released to the public? I mean, if they can make a statement saying all of that, they should also provide a list of people they are restricting to. Moving on, a bomb exploded at a market in the Northeastern Democratic Republic of Congo on Wednesday, the 25th of January 2023 injuring at least a dozen people. Apparently, an unknown person detonated the bomb inside a bag and no one has claimed responsibility for the bomb. Rumors have it that the attack is by the Allied Democratic Forces, which is believed to be linked with the Islamic extremist movement. But are they really going to base it up generally on a rumor and not make proper investigation? Or will they wait till something of this sort happens again and this time not just injuring the people, but worse? And finally, there will be lots of food shortages according to South African farmers in this period and this is as a result of the ongoing power cuts which is also a form of threat to hike the prices of food items. Now this alone will make items really expensive for people who are still struggling to keep up with the normal price of things. What will be the next step the government will make to provide solutions to the power outage? Well that's all I have for you on African News Roundup. Until next time, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.